Hello friends, I just wanted to let you know that there may be potential spoilers ahead. I will be discussing scenes that I find shocking or funny, as well as including what some of the characters are saying. If you don't like that, you may want to skip this one out, but I promise this doesn't spoil any of the books. Hello friends. <laughs> so I started pucking around on audio, on audible. <laughs> I don't think I ever truly understood how unhinged this book is because I'm literally on chapter two and he is talking about how he called the main character his sister because some guy was like hitting on her and so he just like for some reason that was the first thing that came on came to like his mind was to call her his sister but i and the, the chap the second chapter he's like describing what she looks like and so she's got like these like tattoos i'm pretty sure he said tattoos like sleeves basically um on both arms <laughs> and then he said that she had a tattoo like right below her sternum that went <laughs> that went in between her breasts and he <laughs> said he wanted to lick it no he said i am that pig who wants to lick it i did not know that it was going to immediately happen on a chapter two we shall see how the rest of this book goes <laughs> okay so i've been listening to the audiobook audiobook while I was editing. <laughs> We've made it to chapter six. Um and there's a lot that has been going on. <laughs> We're on chapter six, but on chapter four they already were having like a one night stand. Before they have the one night stand they're having a conversation and kind of getting to know each other, basically. It, but not too much information. Because she wants it to stay as a one-night stand. So he basically said that she is out of his league. Oh no, he is out of her league. Because she's taking control of the conversation. Whereas with other puck bunnies he's the one that's taking control of the conversation so it the way he talks about it because it's like dual point of views he makes it seem like she's not like other girls which cringe <laughs> it honest like that kind of cringes me out but especially the way like they are talking about it it's definitely cringy she like put her hand on him like on his like arm and he said that that was more sensual than the sex that he has been having with all these other pug bunnies and basically that with her touching his arm he could barely breathe and so she so we find out that she's a zodiac girly so she said she believes that their two souls were meant to have a one night stand so that's kind of like what brings on the one night stand and during their little <laughs> sex scene he basically said something along the lines of like tell me what you need tell me what you need tell me what you need to get there so you can call me like the MVP or I can be the MVP. I like a good sex scene, don't get me wrong. But listening to this, <laughs> I don't know if it's the one for me. <laughs> But we're just, we're just we're still gonna continue. I mean, this from what I've seen, this book is seven hundred pages long. So thank thank God 
I am listening to it on audio because there's no way, absolutely none, that I ha I would have read that, the, the full 700 pages. <sighs> I also read that it's supposed to be a Y choose, which I, I'm not against a Y choose, but I personally... Like, it has to be done well. And I was reading all the other reviews on Goodreads, and there's a lot of them complaining about, like, how this book was mostly, like, sex. And I hope it gets, like, I hope at least that it gets, like, hotter and better than what <laughs> they're having right now. Hello lovely. <laughs> so if you see the mess, excuse it because that is life with a toddler. But it's been a while since I checked in with you guys and I'll be honest, I have not been listening to it recently. But I just got to chapter 21. <laughs> I realized that the like beginning of the book was the like prequel or whatever it's called sorry i'm making schnitzel right now but it's the prequel and so kind of that's kind of why i was confused and i finished the prequel whatever i rated that two stars <laughs> um i i just i was not a fan of this the sex scenes i think it's just because i like my smut to at least have like some kind of romance even if it's like a one night stand like I just wanted more and I think if I had more that was connected to it I definitely would have probably rated it higher than what I did so right now I'm actually like onto the actual book <laughs> it is definitely a lot better I, I will say that I just got to the point where she runs back into Jake who I guess is the guy from her one night stand and I don't know if he's like a player with the rest of the guys or if he like does something else, but she's kind of like, they're both in shock after seeing each other. So honestly, I don't even know what's really happening, quite honestly, but I will let you know how it goes. Okay, so I'm on chapter 23 and I know, I was gonna update you guys later on, but <laughs> I just remembered let me explain so we're on to like a new one of the males the one from finland i believe for the longest time i thought he was trying to do a russian accent but now he's it's like the male voice actor who is now doing the female main character's voice <laughs> you know who he sounds like like when he's trying to do her voice he sounds like Tina from Bob's Burgers. <laughs> no. Whenever he's like doing that voice, I literally cannot get it out of my head. It is so bad, but I needed to tell you guys that. Okay, so I just wanted to update you guys. It is the next morning. <laughs> I'm so freaking tired. I literally have glasses on to hide how exhausted I look. <sighs> but, um, I... I just know I probably will not continue the series. I just, I think, I yeah. I think it's honestly the voice actors that are just not doing it for me right now. Like, at all. Sorry. <laughs> My toddler tried pulling down something. But, um, I just think it's the voice actors for me that just aren't working out. Like, especially the male voice actor. I'm okay with the female, it's just that male voice actor's voice i just literally cannot at all <laughs> okay so i finished pucking around in that one night and let's talk about it because it was definitely interesting so i have a little list of things that i wanted to talk about specifically what happened um that way i can actually remember <laughs> because this took me about a month to read 
it is way too long in my personal opinion i think it's like 106 chapters and i'm glad i listened to it on audio because there's no way that i would have read this physically <laughs> so this is not a why choose book i thought going into this book that it was a why choose it i would say it's more like poly which i have no problem with um i don't know if it's the narrators that or the male narrator specifically um that just kind of put me off the men that were in these books specifically like the way that he voiced them which if you saw previously i was not a fan <laughs> and as soon as i put it at 1.5 speed it definitely got better um the male narrator's voice so some of the guys <laughs> the guys are very sweet don't get me wrong i think a lot of it has to do with the voice that just personally did not work for me i also oh my gosh there's a spider in the corner <laughs> that's lovely um i also think that the female main character may have outed one of the men and I don't know if that's exactly what happened but that's how it came off when I was listening to it because I don't think he told these specific people yet that she told and I don't know there was a scene that I found hot and really enjoyed and that was when Jake was hanging out with the guys and our female main character ends up video calling him while she is pleasuring herself. Honestly, I feel like that's the only part that I personally found hot. There was a lot of sex in this book and it just, I don't know, it, and like some of the wording while the sex was happening was not for me personally. I thought long and hard what to give this book because I did not love it whatsoever, but I did not hate it. So I stuck with a three stars. I feel like more realistically it might be a 2.75 but I think I'm going to stick with a 3. Um, I don't believe I'm going to continue the series. I just, I'm not as invested as I thought I would be. This was fun. I think the next series that I want to tackle reading vlog wise is the Ice Planet Barbarians because I'm interested to see what I think about um what I think about the book and I've just heard that it's like a really fun not too serious read and honestly I kind of feel the same about this book I don't think I, I mean for me personally I didn't take it as like a serious serious read I just took it as like a fun read with lots of sex in it that may or may not be hot to you if you have read the book please let me know um if you made it this far and you did not read the book um and you saw the warning at the beginning let me know if you are still going to continue the books or what you want to do <laughs> um so that's it for today and <laughs> if you made it this far thank you <laughs> um because this it took me a month if you liked this video please like and subscribe and i love you guys and i will see you next week bye